Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and uh, in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn that how we can uh, make a click event and call a function with the click event, right? So during this video, you might be just facing some unexpected result, right? Uh, but uh, I will tell you that why this is happening and what is the correct way to calling a function and defining the variable and all, right? So don't worry about these things. We will just clear out every and each thing for event handling and function calling and all, right? So what we are going to perform in this video, first of all, we will make a button and we will perform a click event on this button. After that, uh, we will call a function on this click event and uh, we will also use some variables and uh, on a button click, we will try to change the variable value also. But again, you will find that the value of this variable are actually changing, but they are not printing properly, right? So I'll just give you the answer that why it's actually happening. And uh, the code of this video, you can just get from the description box also. And I will also answer the last question which I asked in the previous video. And uh, I will again ask you a new question also, right? So now let's get started. So uh, now let's jump on a project and let's open app.js file, right? So first of all, let's create a button here. Just a simple button, right? And uh, just write here uh, some text. And now you can see that this is just working fine here, like click event and all, right? but uh, there is no action and operation actually happen on this click. So now let's make a function. I am just going to make a function. Uh, let's say this function name, uh, let me just correct the spelling, right? Like test or apple. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now this is fine, right? And let's make an alert here like this and uh, just write here hello from apple right all right so now i am just going to click call it on a on click so just write here on click and whenever i will just uh, simply write here apple function here you will find that it will automatically call whenever page is loading right here you can see that right and whenever I am just going to click on this button, this is not going to work, right? So why this is actually happening? The reason is very simple here. See, this function is executed automatically whenever this line is actually executed, right? For that, uh, let me just uh, make it more clear. If you just make an alert from here, then you will find that this is automatically called whenever code is executed. Same thing is actually happened here. It cannot understand that we have to call it on a on click event, right? For that, what we can do for that, you just need to do only one thing, just remove these brackets from here like this, right? And now you will find that, okay, so because these are the previous alerts, let's uh, just remove this. There is a no click, uh, there is a no pop-up on a refresh. And whenever you will just click on it, then you will find that this is click event is working, working fine, right? So this is the one way. So now might be you have the another question. All right, so let's say I'm just going to call a alert here directly, right? So in that case, I must have to use here brackets and pass some value, then how can I stop it, right? Again, this there's the same, same, same problem. Whenever we will just refresh it, it will just uh, call it and it will not going to call on a button click. So in that case, you can use an arrow function here like this, just simply use this. It will just stop the uh, immediate execution and now it will just work on whenever we will just click. And uh, you can just find it here, right? And this is working fine. So that's the way that how you can just uh, use a click event or some any other event also and uh, these are actually working uh, fine whenever you will use without bracket or if you just want to use a arrow function here, right? So this is very clear thing. So now I am just going to take a one more thing. I am just going to make a variable here. Let You can take a let, war, whatever you want. And let's put here some value like uh, data 
and its value is Anil Sidhu, right? Which is my name. So let's print it here. For that, you can just simply use here data. Great. And we have an output here. Great. So now, can we just print this data on alert? Yes, we can. There is no problem. So I, if I just put here data, then uh, you will find that the Anil Sidhu is alert, right? So everything is fine. So now I am just going to change this data value. So let's put here data is like a hello or just make it Peter, right? Now you will find that, okay, here uh, this is the initial value for print Anil Sidhu because initially we defined here. So on button click, I am changing the data uh, variable value, right? So that means whenever I will click, this value should be changed here. Right, because whenever I'm just going to click here, I'm able to see a Peter because value is changed here and then I'm just going to alert this data. But whenever you, you, you will just check out this, this value is actually not changed here. So what is the reason behind it? The reason is React is not as simple as we think because it's actually using a uh, rendering things kind of so that we have to define here states or props right so what is the state and what is the props i will just show you in the next video why i am just going to show this video first the reason is many guys actually just know about the state and props how they are working but they don't know why we have to use a state and props what is the actual problem problem is, is here whenever we will just change this variable value they are actually not going to print here and for that we have to use states or props Right. So in the next video, we will see that how we can use the states and how we can just overcome this problem that uh, we are not able to just getting an updated value. All right. So for that video, uh, you can just answer my question why this data value is not updated here. Right. And in the last video, I asked that can we use JSX without React? The answer is yes, you can use inside even uh, any other libraries also like even if you just want you can use it in the angular also, right, or uh, without any framework also, right. So thanks for watching this video. If you still have any kind of confusion, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. Bye bye. Take care.